What's up, Bucks fans? It's Rondé Barber here to break down yet another film for you after the Bucks 32 to 6 victory on the road at Carolina. Now, this saw the return of AB, 10 catches, 101 yards. We had seven sacks, including two and a half by Will Golston, D-line's balling this year. But last week, we were all a little mad, weren't we? Lost to the Saints. But you know what? We got a little post-Christmas gift. NFC South title for the first time in forever. So, we are no longer mad. We are making a difference. And this is your film session presented by Windows 11. All right, we're gonna start this week where we finished off last week, and that is going to be number 33, making a play. Now, this one's not just all on him because the defense played phenomenal. We only gave up six points. They were in the red zone a couple of times, we stopped them. But this is the first turnover of the game. But I want you to look at how the Bucks set up here. So, at the start of this play, it looks like everybody's playing man-to-man. -man. Off corners, Sean Murphy bunting in the slot. You got what looks to be man here, looks to be man here, and a middle hole safety. So if you're Cam Newton, you're the quarterback, you're looking at this play and saying, hey, I got a hitch at the top of the screen because this corner, Carlton Davis, is off the receiver. Watch this. So within two steps, what looks like man is now all of a sudden three deep, Four under, one, two, three, four. And this is Sean Murphy bunting, running underneath that slant, perfectly done. Cam Newton doesn't know what to do with the ball, so he tries to reload and comes over here. An interception ensues because Shaq Barrett's playing a great hook dropper. So three, four under, hook dropper, hook dropper, buzz player, buzz player. This is so perfectly executed, and it all started with the disguise. Now, our outside linebacker should catch this ball, but it gives Jordan Whitehead a chance to make another play uh, in what he does. You talk about make a difference type plays. I could have gave you nine Jordan Whitehead make a different plays. I love this from the end zone because the Bucks are in there vaunted now, two, four, five defense, meaning two D linemen, four linebackers, and then five defensive backs. It's a great setup, it's really confusing, and it helps with the disguise on defense, and then what happens, it's just a four-man rush, the two linebackers go, and then the two outside linebackers drop into coverage, it's just perfectly executed, and then, you know, tips, overthrows, love that, can't fight it. All right, talking about make a difference. So, on offense, a lot of people out, right? Both receivers, Chris Godwin out, Mike Evans is out, Leonard Fournette is out. Who's gonna pick, step up and pick up the slack, right? You need somebody else to make a difference. Well, in this play, it's our running back, Keyshawn Vaughn, but also our wide receiver, Cyril Grayson. I want you to watch this player right here, number 15. Now, first of all, this is not a very difficult play to stop. In fact, if you're Carolina's corner up at the top of this screen here, this has to be a tackle. Maybe a two yard loss. This is a turn down hit. And if this was my defense back in the day, you get fired for this. It ends up being a great, great play. But watch Cyril, Cyril Grayson here. He blocks his man without actually blocking his man. You'll see what I mean from the end zone. Look, I really just wanted to highlight the hustle play, but I can't, I, as an ex-defensive back, this, this pains me. I cannot watch that and say much of anything good about him. But watch Cyril Grayson here. First of all, come from the other side of the football field, and this could have easily been a block in the back if he gets a little too aggressive. But no, nope, and just you know, run it. Touchdown. The only reason I brought that up because the one guy that really made a difference for me in this game was Cyril Grayson. He had three catches on three targets for 81 yards. Now he wasn't the leading receiver, but he did have the biggest play of the game for me. At this point in this football game, it is a minute left in the first half and the score is 13 to six. We felt like we blew these guys out, but with a minute left, a minute and a half left in the first half, it was 13 to six, all right? And then we come to this play. Now, Carolina's gonna try to play, I'm gonna diagram this defense for you. Carolina's playing a sneaky little two-man coverage. This safety is going over here. This corner is coming back here. Everybody else is playing man underneath their defenders, okay? So it, what looks like single high safety is really two high safety with man coverage underneath. And so stop this right here. 
you can see what I mean. Two high safeties, man to man underneath, 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 okay? So when you look at this route up top, this corner tries to jump this supposed out, this play that looks like an out by Cyril Grayson, and he just sells the bejesus out of this thing and he's left wanting, right? This corner's left, oh, eyes in the backfield, where'd my receiver go? Ah, oh, he's gone, right? Now, a lot of people are gonna give, you know, say this defensive back made a bad play, but in reality, watch this safety right here. And the only reason he's not helping his corner up top because Tom Brady's looking him off. Look down here, Tom Brady's looking to this side of the field, he thinks he's gonna throw the ball either over here or to the inside, he jumps Tyler Johnson and then Zero Grayson, wide open, gets the penalty. Only thing surprising about this play is that he didn't score. Track speed, he's got four catches on the year on four targets for 32.8 yards per catch. I think he's the new home run threat here, guys. Now you can see what I'm talking about with Tom Brady. Uh, obviously, no pressure, zero sacks again, which should happen when you have three offensive Pro Bowl linemen. Congratulations, guys. Least amount of sacks in the league, by the way. And then this throw, catch, we know what happens. Big play, Cam Brate scores two plays later. Bucks win, everybody's happy. Got an NFC South championship. All right, that's your film session, guys. I will see you next year.